What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mr. Investor YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a great day wherever you are in the world. And today's video is going to be an update on World of V, as well as a little bit of V hashes and, and some vet pets information as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. This is a Medium article from World of V, which was posted yesterday, and it says World of V curated drops. Exclusive NFT art from the world's top artists. It goes on to say that time is literally flying in the world of V. It has already been one month since the beginning of our journey, and so much has happened in so little time. The launch of our Genesis 2021 collection sparked great interest in the V fam, as many community members approached the world of digital art for the very first time. With the V hashes pre-sale event right around the corner, our team is working relentlessly to further improve our marketplace structure, ironing out bugs, and implementing new key features. With the ultimate goal to create a one-stop platform where artists and communities can come together in a vibrant, passionate space. Needless to say, the support of our community means the world to us. The enthusiasm you guys show on a daily basis is invaluable, and it pushes us to do better. Soon, artists from our community will be able to mint their art and access a broad range of functionalities in the marketplace. As a slew of new features are rolled out, Alongside community artists, many established traditional and NFT artists are ready to join us and drop their exclusive art on our platform through our World of V Curated Drops mechanism. World of V Curated Drops are special collections of NFTs created by remarkable artists selected and curated by World of V curators. Our featured artists are well-renowned digital creators that have already established themselves among the best on the scene. The collections will comprise selected pieces that will be exclusively sold on World of V. Artists will drop new works on our platform approximately every two to three months, giving you the chance to collect pieces from your favorite creator. To mix it up a little, though, we will periodically host rising stars that have captured our attention so you can constantly discover new art with us. The curated drops will take advantage of all the features offered by the platform, providing the artists with several options to customize their sales based on their specific needs. So the first up is single edition auction with a reserve price. The most important piece of the collection, a one of one edition that will attract the interest of the most passionate proactive collectors. Get ready for some serious competition. Next up, they have the fixed price limited edition. Right after the one of one edition, the limited edition pieces will be the most sought after pieces of the drop. The number and sizes of the editions put on sale will be at the artist's discretion. Then they will have a fixed price open edition. The open edition sale will allow community members to complete an unlimited number of purchases in a set time window. Once the window closes, the sale will be completed. Make sure you're in the right place at the right time. Some of the editions will be only purchasable with the World of V token. Moreover, marketplace fees for sales in World of V will be waived in the first month upon launch. So now that we're familiar with how this is going to work, this is the opening lineup of artists to be featured on World of V. And first we have Anna Kuni. Uh, she is a Ukrainian-born visual artist currently working in Cape Town, where her gallery and studio are situated. And she has caught the attention of major publications, um, such as Ellie, Marie Claire, Home Journal Hong Kong, Business Day, uh, GQ UK and TV programs such as Top Billing and Boca TV. And we're particularly excited to have on board, Anna on board as she's a traditional artist. And this will mark her debut in the NFT world. That's right. This is her first collection that will go that is going to be on World of V. So very exciting. Happy for her. So this is cool. Uh, next up, we have Jenny Pisanin. And if you don't know who this person is, uh, she is a digital artist who creates art by combining intriguing machine-generated shapes with her vision and her emotions. She aims at introducing a new medium of art and machine learning to the world by blending these two elements as one. And then she also designed the special collector's card, the beautiful V-Chain Whale. So she's going to have her art on this platform as well. Next up, we have Adam Disbro. And for those who don't know who Adam Disbro is, he is an American expressionist artist based in Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, he began showing in fine art galleries in 2014 and is co-founder of SPAC, an artist cooperative located south of Washington, D.C. He first joined the NFT space in March of this year, and he is already the top selling artist on the Tezos blockchain. So we got a heavy hitter here on the World of V uh, marketplace, which is this, this thing is going to be huge, guys. I'm, I'm excited. 
Uh, and then we also have Michael Petrelli here. He's an artist with more than 20 years of activity whose production is full of novelty and experimentation. He uh, loves strong brush marks and drawing, is dominant, and emerges from his painting, more often becoming the primary importance for the composition. The subjects of his later paintings are mysterious and disturbing characters, transformations of ordinary people, gods, or monsters. His paintings are ex executed with traditional mixed media or entirely digital painting techniques. We also have Claudio Pavan. He is a South African Italian character animator and visual effects artist. He likes to design characters with imperfect, exaggerated features in which any of us can identify ourselves. He's the creator of Ion Gottlich, the iconic Italian cyclist who, despite the clear lack of conditioning and the massive body size, has become one of the most popular athletes on the cycling scene. And then we also have Sonkin. I hope I'm saying that right. He is a Danish artist based in Belgium that aims to tap into the limitless possibilities of monochrome to tell stories about people's lives and history. Uh, he also designed the special moon card, which has already impressed many passionate collectors, and he's going to have exclusive pieces reserved for the World of V community. So this is just the first lineup of what's going to come to the World of V marketplace. So guys, I'm, uh, I'm very excited to see this marketplace really start taking off here. Um, next. This is a tweet from VHashes saying that this is a really interesting VHash. I wonder if it has anything special. And then it goes on to say VHashes and World of V Genesis equals key. So this looks like the country of Italy here. So I know that in their, I believe it was the Discord or their Telegram, they were saying that there's going to be one VHash for every country that's on World of V Genesis. So it's like 198 or 200 of them. Um, so I wonder if that's going to unlock another opportunity to do something else on the marketplace. Not really sure. Um, if I find out, I will definitely let you guys know. The pre-sale is tomorrow. So here's how the claiming mechanism works. Um, originally, the public sale is going to be 2,800 VeChain per VHash you want to mint. But with an OG card, you get access to it at 1,800 VeChain. And then the with the Genesis card, you get them at even a further discount at 800 V chain. But those who have these other cards get free V hashes. So a gold card, free V hash, platinum, X nodes, free V hashes. But the collector cards, you get a little bit bigger bonus here. Moon, you get two free. Africa, you get five. Collector card, you get ten. So um, if you have these cards here, make sure you get in on this pre-sale action tomorrow. And then just looking at the roadmap again. So tomorrow or this weekend, we're going to have VHash is launching. After that, we're going to have the marketplace upgrade, the community collections, NFT artist sales, and then the marketplace will be fully open. And at some point here with the community collections, with the curated collection here, we're going to have that World of V token liquidity added. So guys, uh, this might be a good time to start getting some World of V tokens here through uh, VEX exchange here if you have if you have the opportunity. And we also got some love from Jason Rockwood. Jason Rockwood tweeted saying, I'm quite impressed with the quality of artists coming on the whole World of VR NFT platform. These artists are going way beyond 8-bit pixel art and is excited to see where this goes. And then he went back and com went back on his tweet saying, my tweet was not a diss on pixel art, just with a, like a laughing emoji here. So I hope nobody took that as an insult or a diss because that was certainly not the case. This is a Medium article from uh, Vet Pets saying, The heartbeat of the NFT rave. Welcome to Vet Pets, the first fully customized NFT collection on the VeChain blockchain. Minted on the World of V marketplace, a limited 250 unique pixelated designs were launched, each representing the desires of their original owners. Unlike the many other great NFTs available on the market, Vet Pets maintain a personal quality as each one is crafted to the aspirations of the adopter. The initial birth of these custom spirits were released in a Generation 1 Vet Pets collection. The collection pre-sales sold out quickly, leaving many aspiring owners without a beloved Vet Pet. Thankfully, collectors will have opportunities to grab a piece of the action through a secondary market listing on the World of V Marketplace. Vet Pets is a custom and extremely limited collection, so adopters on the NFT tend to hold on tight. But surely, some Generation 1 collectibles will reach the marketplace, so get your nets ready. So Vet Pets is coming to World of V, guys. It's going to happen soon. And it's just another collection coming to the marketplace here. And this is the breakdown of the first gen uh, species of Vet Pets here. Um, I'll put this in the description down for you guys below to look at. But this is the breakdown by each type here. And it looks like amphibians 
are the rarest at just 1.6% of the 250. And there's also going to be a Gen 2. Um, it'll be another 250 customized NFTs like Gen 1 was, but this is going to be themed around endangered animals and favorite domestic pets. So pretty cool to see here. And this is another tweet that I saw that I kind of, I feel like kind of slipped under the radar for most people here. Um, saying that VFAM, Argentic style is coming to you. Exclusive contents only. First contents on digital platforms since I've started. One country per week for some weeks. Genesis holder of the said country will get advantages. So this is going to be another thing I'm going to be keeping an eye on. One country per week, the Genesis holder of that country gets an advantage. I'm assuming they get a pre-sale access or some kind of benefit for having that specific card for wherever what country it is that they're calling out for that week so i think this definitely slipped on the radar and this is something i'm going to be keeping my eye on for sure and then we still i still don't have any more information on what this is here but it came from demetrius neocleus i hope i didn't butcher that wrong but he's the ecosystem manager manager for v chain and uh, he tagged world of v in this uh a few days ago here and um i don't know if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. But that's it for this video, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure we hit the subscribe button, comment, and hit the thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter at the Mr. Investor. And uh, pre-sale, guys, tomorrow, VHashes. Don't miss it. Until next time, I will see you then.